beliefs. Fighting. Confrontation between two people. Confrontation between two people. Yeah. And confrontation and violence. Welcome. In 1997, a film called Bengali Backlash highlighted the racial abuse and attacks on young South Asian boys. This documentary is to show whether racial conflict still occurs and how and why things have changed. This was produced by five, six South Asian schoolboys about how they are struggling to live in their own community because of their race. This is an ultimate destroyer. They feel that they can't survive in their own area, their own community, how would they believe that they could survive in the big wide world? Well, my, my name is Shoeb Mia and I was born in this country but I originate from Bangladesh. The boys that did attack me, I mean, they told me afterwards, like four or five years later, they, they, they thought, you know, I was... Uh, an Asian boy walking into the area and they didn't want that. We looked everywhere and we looked on that side and we saw white boys coming towards us. In terms of how bad I was attacked, out of a scale of uh, 1 to 10, um, I almost lost my life, so I would say 10. The next day, lost my speech, lost the movement of my right side, um, couldn't walk. It was like me having a stroke at the age of 12. Next thing I know, I wake up and I'm, you know, I don't, I don't wake up for a month. Unlike Shua, we are free to go wherever we like without being afraid of being racially abused. But conflict still happens around us. We ask some boys about it. Experienced a bit of racial abuse within this area. For example, when me and some of the boys were playing cricket, this little boy he must have scored a goal against us or something, and then he just like pretended to have a gun and he's like, I'll "Kill you, all you terrorists!" The kind of conflict that I see from the beginning of this like this area is probably I'd say like, street crimes, people getting bottled, I don't know, muggings, seeing all of that. Like it's been, I've been affected because you don't feel. Like you could just walk out every now and then, you don't feel safe because you never know. Racial conflict is much better and we are more like a salad bar and not a mixing pot. Things have changed. In recent years, conflict has shifted into territorial and gangs where fights and arguments are to do with the area. For example, Covenant Market and Summer's Town. Um, I've seen conflict in this area between gangs from different areas coming to this area and having fights in the local park down there. Before, when maybe younger days, well, I certainly knew that there was a lot of conflict. But now everyone's kind of growing up. It's affecting me because I don't feel safe when I was little and I used to go to that park because you never know what might happen. Someone might have had a gun pulled out and accidentally shot someone. It could have been anybody, you know. Just because we're in groups, people think we're in gangs. What's wrong with that? Like when they're in a group, you just don't want to walk past them. Yeah. yeah. Just in case they do something. Yeah, I have friends and stuff like that. We walk around the area, but we don't do anything like that. We don't go up to bad things. I got accused by like, lots of people around the area saying, that, oh, why are you doing this and that? In a short space of time, we have come a long way. I believe this is to community events, such as Street Party and the Camden Unity Cup, and of course, youth clubs. Because we're all diverse, yeah. I mean, like, everyone's got their own Race. cultures, their age, religion, we all respect them. There's less conflict between the gangs. Everyone's going up. They don't need to be in a gang to be protected. The people that do that, they don't end up in a good place. So I thought, yeah, I, I don't want to end up like them. There are a lot of other schemes that young people get into where they get to meet new people. And therefore, by them meeting new people, there'll be less conflict between each other. 
Um, the government can invest more into youth clubs. I think the schools need to start promoting youth clubs. It takes time. Over time, you know, over time anything can be achieved. This generation does, doesn't face as much conflict as the Bangori Backlash boys did. Though conflict does still occur, and in another 15 years we hope this conflict will all disappear. This has been Shaho. Thank you for watching.